Let's get crazy and talk about the world of arms dealers. Who sells and what kind of money is involved the legal side of selling arms? And those illegal arms dealers. You know all those assholes, both people and government that like to cause a lot of death and destruction without being responsible for a lot of that death and destruction. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you who the biggest assholes are when it comes to selling arms. And nobody, nowhere, even comes close. It's us, the good old U.S. of A. Now, normally I wouldn't have a problem with this, because I like it when America is first. But this is kind of troublesome, because no one even comes close to matching our expectation of death and destruction. Not Russia, not China. It ain't even close. In 2023, arms sales were up 16% for a whopping total of $238 billion. And if you're wondering who's buying all those weapons, probably anybody and everybody that has a little gin in their pockets. And I'm bothered that our government is bothered when Russia sells arms to North Korea. Like that's kind of calling the kettle black. Especially when you consider that Russia doesn't come close to selling the amount of arms that we do. Of course, when you look at this chart, it might make an American proud. Because I'm guessing we just make the best reliable way to kill other people when it comes to guns and bombs. But let's not just blame America for all the death and destruction in the world, because other countries are in on the act as well. And of course, it just ain't countries that participate in selling arms. People do it too. And some have made an awful lot of money off of killing other people. Of all the arms dealers in the world today, not many come close to Adnan Koshigi, a Saudi Arabian businessman who died back in 2017, with an estimated worth of $2 billion. Of course, everybody wants to be like Mr. Koshigi and make billions selling weapons to others. And when I say everybody, there's a shitload of them. And now just let me remind everyone who might stumble upon this true tale describing the world we live in, Somebody, somewhere, has to make all those damn weapons that lead to a world of death and destruction. In the top five are, of course, U.S. companies. And no surprise, they're all names you've heard of. Lockheed, Raytheon, Northrop, Boeing, and General Dynamics. Now, before I get into dissing these companies and the obscene profits they make, know this. Last year was a banner year for the exportation of death and destruction here in America. In February of this year, 2024, it was announced that Lockheed will be selling $23 billion worth of new fighter jets to Turkey. This little bit of news was announced by the Pentagon's Office of the U.S. Defense Security Corporation Agency, the DSCA. Agency for Coordinating Arms Sales to All Our Friends and Allies Throughout the Globe. And if you don't think exporting weapons isn't profitable, you're living far in the future, in a world the rest of us will never see. Now I've been talking a lot about who sells death and destruction, and maybe we ought to talk about who's buying all those damn weapons. America's top buyers are all over the world, from the Middle East to the shores of Great Britain, with Saudi Arabia being the number one buyer. France, the second largest exporter of weapons, sells to Asia and Oceania, you know, Australia and all those little islands in the South Pacific, along with selling to the Middle East, and their biggest buyer is India. Of course, Russia is the third largest exporter of weapons in death, and their buyers are India, China, and Algeria. So the bottom line in all this is, well, there's a couple of bottom lines. The first is that the top suppliers of arms has the globe pretty much covered. And the second, any country can buy weapons if they got a little ching to spend. Oh my, isn't it a wonderful world that we live in? Hey, thanks for watching. I, you know, I... I hope you found that this this informative. I certainly did. I mean, I I was totally unaware of of, of how much our country, America. I mean, <laughs> we're so dominant in the world of arms.
afraid to fire his arm, selling arms to whoever and wherever. Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, did it pop up in your mind while you were watching this? You know, like, fuck. We could really eliminate a lot of friggin' death and destruction if maybe we just quit, if this country just quit selling arms. I, Jesus, I, ooh. You know, I, I've got a, uh, I'm going to do another video about the military industrial complex. I, I've got to, you know. All I've got left to say is time for a shot. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, my friends. Yep.